World of Warcraft can be a pretty straightforward game. Kill the boss, complete the quest, reach max level. But even though it is a straightforward game, it is also a very large game. A game with many secrets, many hints, many references, and also many facts. In today's video, we're going to take a look at 30 facts in the World of Warcraft. Tyrion Fordring, one of the greatest heroes of Azeroth and also one of the first five knights of the Silver Hand, was voiced by Bernard Hill, the same actor that played King Theoden in the Lord of the Rings movies directed by Peter Jackson. Lei Shen, the Thunder King and also the tyrannical Mogu warlord who united the Mogu factions and who became the first emperor of the Mogu in Pandaria, was voiced by Sir Christopher Lee, an actor that played Count Dooku in Star Wars and also Saruman in the Lord of the Rings film trilogy and also the Hobbit film trilogy. Rest in peace, Christopher Lee. You're gonna be missed. Detect Invisibility was a spell that allowed a warlock to see invisible units so that it could attack them. However, it did not allow the warlock to see stealth units. Using this ability in the Runes of Lordaeron allowed players to see level 15 undead ghosts roaming around known as the Unseen. These Unseen ones are speculated to be the former citizens of Lordaeron that were killed when Arthas and his undead legion raised the kingdom as well as the land. Lorewalker Cho is voiced by Jim Cummings, who also voices Honda Onaka in Star Wars The Clone Wars animated series. Death Knights were originally planned to be released in vanilla World of Warcraft, but Blizzard decided to reserve them instead for Wrath of the Lich King, seeing as to how it would be more suitable and relevant to the expansion. A quest giver in the Borean Tundra has a name Gorge the Corpse Grinder, which is a tribute to George Corpse Grinder Fisher, the singer of Cannibal Corpse. Chris Metzen voices Nefarian, Ragnaros, Thrall, Varian, Rexar in Warcraft 3, Drenosh Sourfang, as well as a handful of other bosses. Theramor was destroyed by a mana bomb created by the Blood Elves using a focusing iris dropped from a goblin zeppelin. The blast was so extreme and so violent that not only did it level the city and kill Ronin, along with many other Alliance soldiers, but it also turned Janus' eyes and hair white, as can be seen during the Missa Pandaria Siege of Orgrimmar cinematic. There is a quest in the Stone Talon Mountains named To Be Horde. During this quest, Overlord Kromgar was dropped off of a cliff by Garrosh Hellscream due to his incredibly dishonorable actions including the bombing of Thaldorah Grove. Garrosh tells Kromgar that he has disgraced the Horde by committing such an act, but in time, Garrosh will inevitably follow in Kromgar's footsteps with the bombing of Theramor. Look upon the world, Cliffwalker, and see the might of the Horde! What have you done, Kromgar? War Chief, I, I was carrying out your command! My command was my command to murder innocents, Kromgar. War Chief! <coughs> Sir, I... Am I a murderer, Kromgar? No, War Chief! Then I ask you again, what have you done? I sent you into Stone Talon Mountains with an army. Your orders were to secure this land for the Horde. Instead, you laid waste to the land, murdered innocents, children even. I spent a very long time in Northwind, Kromgar. I learned much about the Horde in that time. While there, a wise old war hero told me something that I would carry with me forever. Honor, Kromgar. No matter how dire the battle, never forsake it. Overlord Kromgar, you have disgraced the Horde! You have brought shame to us as a people! By my right as war chief, I hereby relieve you of duty. You are dismissed. 
And you! Before the Shattering, Astral prepared to leave for Nagrand in order to learn more about the elemental unrest. He was unable to retain his position of Warchief and thus began to consider a temporary successor. Among the possible candidates were Cairn Bloodhoof and Varrock Sourfang, although Thrall has actually stated to Varrock that if his son, Janosh Sourfang, was still alive, he would have been the ideal war chief, having inherited his father's might, bravery, wisdom, and honor which can all be seen in his assault with Bolvar Four Dragon at the Wrathgate. The Lightning's Blade clan was an orc clan that was so unheard of by numerous fans of World of Warcraft that many people believed that the clan's name was simply a mistake and that the intended reference for the name was either towards the Twilight's Hammer clan or the Burning Blade clan. However, it is proven otherwise due to the fact that in the game manual for Warcraft 2, it states that the Lightning's Blade clan serves as an ally to that of the Thunderlord clan. The Lightning's Blade clan had strong ties to both the Blackrock clan and the Thunderlord clan. This clan's initiation rites were so harsh that few of those who had participated in the initiation ever survived. The initiation required for the orcs to stand atop the highest peak in the Blade's Edge Mountains while a thunderstorm was occurring and hold their axe up high into the sky. Only those who were struck by lightning three times and who survived were deemed worthy of entering the clan. During Hollow's End, there is a level 60 quest giver located in South Shore named Sergeant Hartman. He is a direct reference to the drill instructor Sergeant Hartman from Full Metal Jacket. In Ungoro Crater, the gorillas sometimes drop an item named the Empty Barrel. This is a reference to Donkey Kong throwing barrels at Mario in the Nintendo arcade game. Torin is an anagram for nature. Instructor Resuvius, the first boss of the military quarter in Naxxramas, is stated to be the most feared Death Knight trainer of the Scourge. He will also instruct his students to sweep the leg, which is a reference to the Karate Kid movie. Back in Draenor, the orcs faced the possibility of total and complete corruption. Kil'jaeden planned on feeding the blood of Banaroth to all of the orcs, but his plans were foiled when the Elder Shaman Ner'zhul warned Durotan and the Frostwolf clan of this plot. Although the other orcs neglected the shaman's warnings, Durotan and his clan refused to drink from the blood and therefore, one of Azeroth's greatest enemies saved the orcs from complete and utter annihilation. In the Blade's Edge Mountains, there is an NPC named Baron Sableman who gives out players a quest called It's a Trap. This quest name is a reference to Admiral Akbar's famous catchphrase from Star Wars. Wrath of the Lich King promised aerial combat, to which Blizzard had originally planned to implement in Wintergrasp. Unfortunately, this idea was never followed up on when the expansion was actually released. Cataclysm was in development before Wrath of the Lich King was even released. Back in 2009, there was a bug that allowed a Death Knight to death grip a person across the world from Booty Bay to the Alterac Mountains. The bug would work like this. A person would duel a Death Knight while standing on the edge of the Booty Bay docks while the Death Knight was actually in the boat. When the duel started, the Death Knight would grip the player to him, but instead of sending the player to the Death Knight, it would send him across the fucking world. There used to be a Corrupted Ashbringer event when a player would wield the Corrupted Ashbringer while stepping foot into the Cathedral Wing of the Scarlet Monastery. Soldiers of the Crusade will become friendly to the player, and they will actually kneel to the player when in close proximity. In the Western Plaguelands, Farmer Dalson, a ghoul, is part of the Locked Away quest chain. From his wife, Mrs. Dalson's diary, we learn that his first name is actually Harold. Harold the Ghoul is a recurring character in the Fallout series. In the novel The Sundering, it is hinted that the Old Gods are more powerful than the Titans, including Sargeras, the Lord of the Burning Legion. It also says that if the Old Gods were to be freed from their titanic prisons, that even Sargeras himself would plead for death before them. Quartermaster Vasquez is a level 80 supplies vendor in the Crusader's Pinnacle in Ice Crown. She's actually a direct reference to the character Private Vasquez in the film Aliens directed by James Cameron and which was released in 1986. Her in-game model closely resembles her movie character where she's also wearing a red bandana and also has short cropped hair. Alfred Copperworth is a level 80 human food and drink vendor at the purple parlor of the Violet Citadel in Dalaran. His name, appearance, and title are references to Alfred Pennyworth, the butler to Bruce Wayne, or in other words, Batman. Ajara Crater was a battleground that was mentioned at BlizzCon in 2011, during a preview panel for the new expansion, Missa Pandaria. 
It was originally planned to take place in Southern Ashara in the Forlorn Ridge, and it was also intended to work in a similar fashion to Alterac Valley. So basically a free BG for the Alliance. The battleground entrances were already placed within the zone, with the Alliance entrance being at the south end of the Forlorn Ridge, and the Horde entrance being at the north side. Although it never made it out of testing and is basically scrapped, it is still in the game files. The Night Elves are known as the Calderai, which means Children of the Stars in their native tongue of Darnassian, while the Highborn, which were the upper classes of the Night Elven society, were known as the Quelderai, which means Children of Noble Birth. After the events of the War of the Ancients, most of the Highborn were later transformed into the hideous and extremely sadistic creatures known as the Naga. Night Elves are actually the direct descendants of the Dark Trolls, and during the Battle of Mount Hyjal, a clan of Dark Trolls joined the Night Elves and fought against the Burning Legion in order to save Azeroth. Many people are disappointed with the voice of Archimonde in Hellfire Citadel, stating things like, I wish the person who voice acted Archimonde from Warcraft 3 also was the voice as Archimonde in World of Warcraft. Well, he actually is. David Lodge is the voice actor for both Archimondes, but wait, there's more. This meaningless little world has already succumbed to my corruption. The land itself seethes with the mark of the Legion. Does his voice sound familiar? It should. This all-star voice actor also voices General Nazgrim, the honorable orc warrior that fell in the Siege of Orgmar while obeying his orders even though he knew they were wrong. 